Hey guys, Sander van Doorn here in my studio and uh, today um, I'm here for Dance Fair TV. So um, I'm going to show you a few uh, things uh, I've done for my new release, uh, Amazing Bass. Uh, it's going to be released uh, in about uh, a month and a half. And um, so I just converted uh, my project in the, the new Logic Pro X. And I just want to want to show you guys uh, how, how the track uh, originated, uh, how I came you know, to produce the whole track. <laughs> So basically, um, this track is uh, is very much focused on on, on a pretty cool bass line. Um, I made actually I, I made it uh, during um, uh, the work of uh, uh, another project. Uh, I was working on on some bass sounds, and uh, I was working on a massive, and uh, all of a sudden. Uh, I found this amazing sound and uh, tweaked it a lot uh, until I got got like this. So it sounds pretty pretty weird, but um, um, I started working on it. So um, I made this uh, pattern uh, like this. I'm gonna copy it to this track, um, and so. I got this, so basically the release of, uh, of the sound is being cut back by the other notes uh, going into the, the schedule. So basically, uh, th this was my basis actually for, for a whole track. So I, uh, you know, started working, um, collecting, uh, collecting the kick. In this case, uh, the kick is, uh, is part of uh, two uh, kicks. Uh, you've got the below area and the top area that's this one over here so um i used the camel fat uh, for making the, the, the kick uh, to make sure that um, um, the, the the volume of the kick uh, got lowered a bit by you know a very subtle kind of um, 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 a distortion on, on the kick so if you look at uh, this the camel fat I pretty much turned off all these functions over here and I used a little bit of distortion so if you would uh, go to uh, to this uh, part it's actually this camel fat over here um, this is uh, the kick yeah, you can see the meter metering over here if uh, you turn off the distortion uh, in this case it doesn't really different that much you can really um, um, uh, give a track uh, or a kick a very nice punch um, in this case actually uh, it was so subtle you can't actually see the difference um, so combined you got this kick so it's not even uh, that much of a fierce kick but uh, it works really well uh, in comparison uh, with the bass line so this is uh, the track added some small um, hi-hats um, I think I used uh, yeah I used some uh, vengeance uh, bank banks for uh, for those hi hats and um, you know started building the track uh, in this case uh, since it was all about the bass also the bass line is oh sorry for that this is the bass line over here um, so basically used um, the fat filter simple on just to um, gradually open up uh, up the baseline you know both the high pass filter as, as well as the low pass filter uh, in this track uh, you know it kind of builds towards uh, this particular point after about a minute still very simple and the kick and the baseline combined kind of gives this uh, this this drive to the record so it's a it's a very funny uh, baseline it kind of looks like um, it is stepping over over itself uh, but you know, combined with um, with the side kick I've used on the, on the bass line, it actually works uh, works really well. So um, yeah, for me it was all about uh, tweaking this bass line for the very uh, for the start. So um, let's see where exactly is it? Shift uh, uh, Let's see. Close to my hand. Here, here we go. So. Um, a lot of um, track automation going on here. Yeah. So I actually um, used a simple uh, channel EQ um, to 
make um, the bass line more aggressive. So if you so, uh, put this on solo, I just um, uh, the 2K uh, frequency uh, just to uh, make it a little bit more aggressive. So if you uh, would go uh, towards this uh, particular point. And then I, uh, you know, started walking uh, towards uh, the break. So if we uh, zoom out. So this is the bass. Um, I really felt for this track, um, um, it was all about the bass, but uh, it kind of needed uh, a bit of a, a cool house chord to, uh, um, to actually go to, towards a certain drop. So um, I used this uh, house chord over here. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one. Uh, also the wrong one. Here you go. This one. So um, this is actually from an, um, a very old uh, house court bank. Um, already have in my possession for about 15 years. Um, it has like all the 90s uh, house courts in it. So you know, with a lot of tweaking, um, this was basically uh, the sound to get towards the, the actual drop. Uh, in this case, building it up with um, you know with some uplifting sounds. Uh, I think I've used. Uh, you know, quite some standard uh, two sounds from um, from the Nexus to uh, really build it up in, in combination with the sound shifter by Waves. It's a really cool uh, sound shifter to uh, um, really crank up the pitch. So if you go back a little bit. I use some drums to, uh, to build it up and to make sure that um, the drop gets the impact, uh, got the impact I wanted. Um, it's all about lowering the volume very subtly a little bit before the actual drop. So now you have uh, the whole track combined. And um, yeah, so it's it's a um, it's a pretty simple track in basis, but uh, you know it works really well. It's kind of like a combination between the older techno sound. A combination, uh, you know, with more driven um, sounds uh, you have today, with very uplifting um, building uh, sounds uh, like I have uh, below here in the project. And uh, yeah, so basically that's uh, that's how I came up with my uh, my new track. There you go.